Okay, quiz 13 solution from Mechanical Engineering 1230 Statics. We have a wheel that is, has a moment applied to it. We have a block brake with some friction acting at the interface between the wheel and the brake. It's, the brake is pinned at one end and a force is being applied at the other end and we are trying to determine what the smallest force we can apply to this is such that the brake holds. And there's a small moment arm here in that direction at the, between the friction and the pivot point of our arm, our brake. And then obviously there's a moment arm between our force and that pivot point as well as the frictional or normal force and that pivot point. So we've got points here. We get points for a free body diagram. We get points for equations of equilibrium. Oops. We get a point for intermediate results, and the correct value of P we get two points for. So what is our approach here? Step one, draw some free body diagrams. Step two, write some equations of equilibrium. Step three, we'll solve those equations and we'll using our frictional force and four we can back that out and find uh, find P from that. Alright. So our first step free body diagrams. So we draw one of the wheel, one of the brake. So the wheel Got this. We have some moment, 260 newton meters. We have a reaction force at the pin, so we have, I'll call this OY, I'll call this OX, and then we have some friction here. Friction is going to be acting tangentially at that point of application. So if the wheel's turn, wanting to turn toward our right, our frictional force has to be going this way. And we also have uh, a normal force being applied to that. So we have this uh, NB at that point. So that should do it for our wheel. For our brake, we have this beam essentially. We have P acting here. We have our normal force and B acting there. We also have some offset here. I should have on this out. There we go. We're going to have some um, going the wrong way. Force of friction acting there at B. At C, we're going to have CY. I'll put CX going this direction. And that should do it. So there's our moment. And uh, let's put some dimensions in here too. So we've got this is 0 0.4 meters, 0 0.6, this is 0 0.05 meters, that vertical distance, and this radius over here is 0 0.3 meters. Okay, so there's our free body diagrams. So we'll get plus two points there, plus two points here. All right, so step two, our equations of equilibrium. Equations of equilibrium. So we'll start with the wheel. The sum of our moments around um, O equals zero. So zero has to equal, so we have negative 260 newton meters. It's going clockwise, negative sign. Acting positively on that. We're going to have plus the force of friction at B times 0 0.3 meters. Uh, so we'll have 260 equals 0 0.3 FB. FB then equals 866.6 newtons. And if we're reporting that as a final value, it would be 867 newtons. 
we get plus one point for that. Then we can use that in our frictional equation. Let me slide this down. So our coefficient of friction up here from the problem description is 0 0.6. So F B equals 0 0.6 N B. So N B equals F B 0 0.6 equals 866.6 over 0 0.6 N B equals 1444 newtons. So I'd go to 14. 40 or 1.44 kilonewtons. Get plus one there. So we're on our way to getting our value of, uh, and we get a, a point for this equilibrium equation. We don't get a point for the frictional equation, but we're on our way to the last unknown here is finding that P. So some of the Y forces around and on our bar up there equals negative P plus NB my uh, I've got it this way plus CY so that's one equation we can write up there and the sum of the moments around C equals zero so zero equals so you will have positive P, that's wanting to rotate counterclockwise, minus 0 0.4 NB. So I'm multiplying this by 1, so I don't have a factor out front. And B again is wanting to rotate clockwise. And then our friction is going to want to rotate this counterclockwise plus FB uh, times 0 0.05. And we have NB already, so we can find that P equals 534 newtons. And we fact fill in this 1.44 kilonewtons into NB. And our force of friction from up here, 866.6 newtons into here. So we can solve P directly. I didn't need my Y equilibrium equation. So we get plus two for that. So let's count up the points. Two, three, four. You get one for this equation, five. One for this equation, six. Oop, come on now. Oh, too far. And two for here, two for there. That gets me my 10. So we have that force of friction acting here. We need to apply 534 newtons one meter away and that will get us enough friction here to keep this wheel from turning even when that uh, 260 newton meters is applied.